Hello, my name is Brittany Paula Castro, and welcome to Wellness on the Waterfront, presented by Independent Blue Cross in conjunction with Delaware River Waterfront Corporation and Studio 34. Begin on your back. Go ahead and lie flat. Bring your feet together and your knees apart. I recommend bringing something under your knees. So you can use blocks. You can, if you don't have blocks, we will use these, but if you don't have them, have something that resembles blocks, like a thick book, um, a water bottle, flipped over water glasses, something that you can use, and maybe some towels or blankets if you don't have kind of the regular yoga props. And so you're going to bring something underneath of your thighs or knees just for some extra support. Lying flat, get comfortable. Let the low back just relax into the ground. Bring one hand onto the belly and one hand onto your heart. Inhale from your belly to your chest and up into your collarbones. Exhale this three-part breath from your collarbones smoothly to your chest and to your belly. Do that again. Inhale from your belly to your chest and to your collarbones. Exhale from your collarbones to your chest and into your belly. Again, inhale, belly, chest, collarbones, exhale, collarbones, chest, and belly. Continuing this three-part breath on your own. And as you do, breathe also into the back and the sides of the body. So as you breathe into the belly, breathe into that low to mid-back. As you breathe into the chest, breathe into that mid-back. And as you breathe into the collarbones, breathe up into the upper back. Also, breathe into the sides of the body as well. So as you breathe out and back, breathe out to the sides. Let's just do three more rounds of this three-part breath just to begin to integrate into this awareness of your body and your mind. Notice when the thoughts want to bring you out and just use this focus on breath to bring you back. Let's do one more together. Great. From here, release the blocks or whatever you are using and bring the block between your inner upper thighs and squeeze it. And then your hands will either come to a cactus or a T, whatever works for you. And then you'll lift your heels and squeeze the block with your thighs, flex your feet. Take an inhale here as you pull your belly down and squeeze the block. Exhale, take the legs slowly over to the right. Inhale, bring the legs back up and take them slowly over to the left. Inhale, rise up. Take the legs over to the right. Inhale, up, squeeze the block, pull the belly down. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, back up. Exhale, to the right. Just breathe in and out of your nose for now. Inhale, up. Exhale to the left, starting to warm up the belly, the core, the spine, the chest even. Exhale to the right. Inhale back up. Exhale to the left. Keep your shoulders rooted. Inhale back up. Do one more round. Exhale to the right. Inhale up and to the left. Inhale up. From here, release your block. Pull the knees into the chest, bring your knee to nose. Bring your hands behind your thighs and start to rock up and down your spine. Just massaging the spine until you come up to sit. Sit on something, a block, a book, a blanket. Sitting up nice and tall. And then from here, gather your hands to your heart. Let your thumbs click your sternum, bow into yourself. Take a moment just to listen to your breath. Let your breath be a gateway into how it is that you feel in this moment. And let your feelings, maybe one feeling, be a gateway, a path to what it is that you need in this moment. 
recognizing that we are worthy of having our needs met. And as you move through this mini practice, can you just continue to use your breath to connect with how you feel in the moment and to connect with what you need? Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Coming into the sound of just one ohm. Um. in your lap and take an opened mouth inhale engaging the throat muscle called the glottis open mouth exhale opened mouth inhale exhale close your mouth to continue with your ujjayi breath stay with this breath throughout the practice it'll help you to stay grounded present and warm. Bring your hands onto your knees, inhale, arch the spine. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, arch your spine. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, arch your spine. Exhale, round your back. One more, inhale, arch. And exhale, round. Come to a neutral spine, remove whatever you're seated on. You can have those supports nearby if you need them. And then from here, press back into downward facing dog. So let your hands be about mat width apart. Feet wiggle back so you have a nice long stance. Start to pump out the legs. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Press every finger into the ground. Press heavy into the inner edges of the hands as the shoulders widen and the belly pulls in. Melt your heart back. Pull in through your belly. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale, bend the knees and look forward. Exhale, bring your feet to your hands. Take your block or rolled up towel, whatever you have, and squeeze it between your thighs. Feet are two fist widths apart. Walk the hand six inches in front of your toes. Lift all ten toes up as the block rolls back and the head relaxes as you breathe. Pull your low belly and engage your legs without locking your knees. Stay here, breathe in. Breathe out. Relax your jaw. Breathe in. Mouth stays closed. Breathe out. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees and go ahead and sweep the arms into chair pose. Soften the shoulders. The hands can also be at the heart. Feet are straight. Knees are behind the toes. Pull the belly in. Holding here for three. And two. Take a big full breath in. And then one, exhale, bring the hands behind your back. Lift the hands off of your back. Pull in through your belly and buzz your lips. Inhale. <laughs> Shake out your head again. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> Bend your knees, sweep your arms, come back to chair pose. Lion's breath, tongue out, eyes up. <laughs> Inhale. This time stand up. I'm just going to face you for this. Pointer fingers steeple like this. Right? Make an up and over side stretch to the right as the left shoulder pulls back. Stay here, breathe in. Take it a little bit deeper. Rise back up. Take it the other way. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, flip the palms, thumbs stay connected, lean yourself back, lengthen your tailbone, squeeze the block or whatever you have, take an inhale, dive forward, exhale, halfway lengthen, inhale, fold, from here release your block, inhale, rise, sweep the arms to the sky, bring your hands to heart and come to the top of your mat, inhale, sweep your arms to the sky, Exhale, fold, touch the earth. Inhale, halfway, lengthen. Exhale, step your left foot back, bring your back knee down, right knee over the ankle. Hook the thumbs right in front of left. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. Softening the shoulders. Stay here, breathe in. Breathe out. Take another full breath in. Side stretch to the right. Stay here, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, arms sweep. 
Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Feel free to stay here, or for a little bit more vigor, inhale, slide forward into plank. Exhale, bring your knees down, or keep them up as you lower. Halfway for chaturanga, elbows in, shoulders lift. Inhale, come to cobra with the thighs down, or up dog with the thighs up. Press back, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Breath out. Left leg lifts, inhale. Bring the left foot all the way through, knee over ankle. Go ahead and hook the thumbs. Inhale, arms sweep to the sky, softening the shoulders. Stay here. Press through the back foot. Take another big breath in. Sway to the left. Stay here, inhale. Exhale. Rise tall. Exhale, plant your hands, step forward, fold. Halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, sweep the arms. Exhale, fold, touch the ground. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step the right foot all the way back behind you. Left knee over ankle. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Good, and then exhale. Go ahead and twist. Hook the elbow onto the thigh. So right elbow, left thigh, and twist. You can stay here or lift your back knee up now for three. Squeezing in through your belly. Stay here, two. Take another big full breath in. Good, and then exhale, plant your hands on the floor or onto blocks. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, straighten the front leg, flex the foot, fold in. Bend your knee, inhale, open up through your chest. Exhale, straighten, flex, and fold. Opening up the hamstring, inhale, open. Exhale, straighten, flex, and fold. Inhale, open, release your blocks. If you have them, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, slide forward, plank. Knees can be up or down. Exhale, lower. Inhale, come through into cobra or up dog. Spread your fingers wide. Press back, pull your low belly in, downward facing dog. Stay here, breathe in. Breathe out. Right leg lifts, inhale. Keep your hips squared. Exhale, step the right through. Foot through in between your hands, knee over ankle. Hook the thumbs. Inhale, sweep it up, soften the shoulders. Exhale, twist, right elbow, left elbow onto right thigh, hands to prayer. You can stay here, or bring your back knee lifted for more power here. Pull in through your belly and twist. Tuck that right hip in, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Take one more, inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, step forward, fold. Halfway, exhale, fold. Rise. Inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, arms sweep. Fold. Exhale. Inhale, halfway. Open through your chest. Exhale, go ahead and fold. Step back. Plank. Inhale, plank. Pull in through your belly. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, cobra upward facing. Shoulders back. Downward facing dog. Back you go. Stay here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Widening the shoulders, press heavy through the inner edges of the hands. Breathe in. Breathe out. So I'm going to mirror you now. So go ahead and lift your right leg to the sky. Inhale. Bend the right knee, open up the hip, keep the left shoulder lifted. Stay here, take a big full breath in. Exhale, pull the right knee into the nose, pull through the belly, and step that right foot through. Ground the back foot 90 degrees, create a heel to arch alignment, come up warrior two. Pick up the right hip, press heavy through the outer edge of the back foot, stay here for three. And two. Keep that knee right over the ankle, take a big breath in. Take it back, radiant warrior, shine back, open through the chest, keep that left knee bent, or right knee bent deeply. Stay here, breathe in, breathe out. Now you're gonna come up, and all I want you to do is bring your hands onto your hips, turn your toes in, turn your other toes out. Bend the left knee, pick up the hip, extend your arms out, and look forward, warrior two. Press heavy through the outer edge of the back foot, keep breathing. I know we have the leg lift to do, we will, don't worry, breathe in. Breathe out. Use the breath to connect just in this moment with how you feel. And what a gift it is, right, to connect with ourselves in that way. What do we need? 
Take an inhale. Exhale, take it back. Radiant warrior, just for a breath. Inhale. Lean back a little bit stronger here. Bend the knee. And then inhale, rise up. This time you're going to be at the other point of the mat. You're going to windmill down and kick that left leg up and back into the sky. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Stay here, breathe in. Breathe out. From here, step that foot through again. And now I want you to pivot to a wide leg forward fold. Feet are straight, fold. Engage your legs, press through the four corners of your feet. Hands interlace behind your back, lift it up. Take a deep breath in for lip buzz. Just one more, shake your head. Hands to the low back, hands to the floor. Inhale, lengthen, and then pivot around to the front of your mat and step back, downward facing dog. Stay here, breathe in. Let it out. Again, breathe in. Let it out. One more big sigh. Good. From here, come forward and lower all the way down onto your belly. Interlace your hands behind your back. Keep the feet down as the kneecaps lift. Stretch the arms back and lift through your chest as you pull in. You can stay here. Bring the feet up for three. Two. Take a big full breath in. And then lower down. Good. As you lower down, you're actually going to just flip right onto your back. Laying down here. Go ahead and bend the elbows. Bring the fingers facing up, palms face in, feet are straight. If you have a block, you can squeeze it between your thighs. Root down as you lift your hips, wiggling your shoulders in. You can stay here with bent elbows or interlace the hands here just for five breaths. Bridge pose. Feel the opening across your chest. The glutes are engaged, but not too much. Three more breaths. Feet are nice and straight. Inhale. Release your arms and slowly lower down. Release your block. Go ahead and take the left ankle onto the right thigh and release the hands around the back of the right thigh. Take three breaths here for figure four hip stretch. Close your, your eyes and let your breath soften. Let the ground hold you. And then again, bring your awareness back to breath. Facilitating that body to mind connection. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Switch sides. From here, you're just going to keep it simple. Just switch to the other side. Right ankle onto left thigh. Hands interlace and breathe. And then again, reconnect through the breath with how it is that you feel in this moment. Do you feel happy? Do you feel connected? Do you feel sad? Do you feel angry? What would it be like to just give yourself permission to feel? Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Release that. Take the hands out to a T. Swivel the hips to the right. Take the knees to the left. Gaze right. Just take just a couple breaths. Come back to center. Switch sides. And come back to center, give yourself a big squeeze, pulling your knees into your chest. And then allow the legs to extend out, your arms to extend out, and let your body just soften. If you want to bring anything under your knees or under your head for Shavasana, you absolutely can. You don't want to skip this part, right? This is the part where we allow everything we've just done in this short practice to metabolize. This is where the healing happens. This is where the rest happens. Rest that you are worthy of. Shavasana.
Slowly begin to just deepen your breath, feeling your breath in your body, feeling your body on the ground. Your hands onto what feels like center. Take a breath. Stay here longer if you'd like. I encourage you to stay here for a couple more minutes. Otherwise, if you feel ready, pull your knees into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Rock to one side. Gently press up and gather your hands to your heart. Bow in. And acceptance and love for yourself and all that you are, all that you embody. Take a big breath in. Let it out. Closing with an om. Um. Thank you. Namaste. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for joining me for Wellness on the Waterfront presented by Independent Blue Cross. Tune in to the DRWC Philly YouTube channel for more exclusive videos and follow on social media.